Hello and welcome to this quick start guide for Tripwire Change Analyzer. In this video, we will provide a simplified tutorial covering the steps required to get you started with Change Analyzer. Before you begin, you'll need the following. First, a working instance of Tripwire Enterprise at version 887 or later. Second, administrative access to your TE console, as well as a system where it's installed. Keep in mind that this guide assumes you are familiar with TE concepts and the TE console interface. Third, TE nodes that are running operating systems supported by Change Analyzer. Fourth, access to the Tripwire Customer Center. And lastly, an active subscription to Change Analyzer and access to Tripwire's SaaS platform called Tripwire Anywhere. To complete the steps in this guide, your Tripwire Anywhere user account must be assigned the Asset User, Supervisor Admin, and TCA user roles at a minimum. Now that you have everything you need, let's begin. For this video, we will integrate Change Analyzer with a TE console running Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2. Even if your TE console runs on a supported Linux distribution, such as Red Hat Enterprise Linux, the steps we cover are analogous. If you have multiple TE consoles that you want to use with Change Analyzer, you will need to follow this guide for each one. You will now integrate Change Analyzer with your TE console. This integration is mediated by a new service you will install on your TE console system called Tripwire Enterprise Supervisor. To start, you'll need a TE service account for use with TE Supervisor. This account requires the default administrator role. We strongly recommend that you create a dedicated service account for Change Analyzer instead of using the default administrator user account. If you have an existing TE user account with the required role that you'd prefer to use, make note of this account's username and password for later use. Otherwise, you'll need to create a new account with the required role. For this video, we created a new TE service account named TE Supervisor. Next, you'll download the TE Supervisor installation bundle from Tripwire Anywhere. To do so, you'll need your Tripwire Anywhere username, which you can find in a welcome email like this one. If this is your first time logging in, you'll need to activate your account by following the steps in the welcome email, and then accept the service agreement and cookie policy. Once you have logged in at tripwire.io, navigate to Settings, Systems, if not already there. Click on the New Data Source button and complete the form. For host name, enter the fully qualified domain name or IP address of your TE console. For friendly name, enter an optional value to help you identify your TE console and the user interface. For product, select Tripwire Change Analyzer. For platform, select the operating system of your TE console system, which in our case is Windows. Lastly, click Generate and Close to generate and download the TE Supervisor installation bundle. Now you're ready to install TE Supervisor. First, log into your TE console system with an operating system user account that has administrative privileges. Second, copy the TE Supervisor installation bundle to a directory that's accessible by your TE console system. In our case, we previously downloaded the installation bundle directly to the TE console system, so no copy step was required. Next, extract the installation bundle to a target directory, such as C Program Files Tripwire. Now, open an elevated command prompt and navigate to the bin directory inside the newly created TE Supervisor installation directory. Next, execute the TE Supervisor install command followed by the TE Supervisor start command. These two commands install and start the TE Supervisor service, respectively. At this point, TE Supervisor will initialize and send a connection request to Tripwire Anywhere that you will need to accept. Therefore, return to the data sources page in Tripwire Anywhere. A new data source connection request will appear at the top of the page after a few minutes. If you don't see it, try refreshing your browser. Be sure to review the new data source connection request to verify it's the same TE console that you just installed TE Supervisor on. If so, click Accept. You will then be prompted to enter the TE user account credentials that you want to use with this data source. For this video, we will enter the TE Supervisor user account that we created in the first step. Now that Change Analyzer and your TE console are integrated, you need to configure TE rules so that critical file changes detected by TE are sent to Change Analyzer for analysis. Change Analyzer is designed to work with pre-configured critical change audit file system rules published by Tripwire. To download these pre-configured critical change audit rules, log into the Tripwire Customer Center. In the top navigation bar, select Products and then Product Downloads. In the Tripwire Enterprise section, click Download Content. Using the search bar at the top of the page, search for critical change audit rules. For each operating system that you want to monitor with Change Analyzer, click the link to download the critical change audit rule set 
save it to a location that is accessible by the TE console system, and then extract that zip file. Now you'll need to import the critical change audit rule sets into your TE console. For each set of rules to be imported, import the XML rule file that you previously extracted to the root rule group of your rules manager. Be sure to carefully review the readme file that came in each rule set's zip file, as some additional configuration may be necessary. For the sake of time, we have omitted this step from the video. All that's left is to run version checks with the critical change audit rule sets that you imported into your TE console. To do this, you can either create a recurring check rule task for each operating system of your nodes, or manually launch a version check using the rules. We strongly recommend that you create recurring check rule tasks. In either case, be mindful to choose the appropriate critical change audit rule set for each operating system and version of your selected nodes. For example, we have just performed a manual version check of our Windows node using the Windows critical change audit rule set. Congratulations, you've successfully integrated Change Analyzer with your TE console. Next, we'll briefly show this integration in action, as well as how you can verify that the integration is working. First, you'll need to patch your monitor nodes to change some critical files. For this video, we patched our TE console system running Windows Server 2012 R2. For the sake of time, we won't show the whole patching process. Now, simply run version checks as we did before so that TE detects the critical file changes due to your patching and triggers the integration with Change Analyzer. Again, we recommend using recurring check rule tasks so that rules are automatically checked on a regular basis. For this video, we performed a manual version check. That's all there is to it. The changes will be sent to Change Analyzer for analysis. You can verify that Change Analyzer is promoting changes by performing an element version search. The easiest way to do so is to search for element versions with an approval identifier of Tripwire Change Analyzer. For this video, you can see that we have many results matching our search criteria. Viewing an individual element version will show the approval identifier and promotion comment set by Change Analyzer. And with that, we've reached the end of this quick start guide for Change Analyzer. For more information and detailed instructions, please see the Change Analyzer and Tripwire Enterprise documentation. For additional assistance, please contact Tripwire support. Thanks for watching.